ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون All praise is due to Allah whom we turn to for help forgiveness and guidance to the right path and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our sins for whomsoever Allah guides no one can misguide and whomsoever is misguided then only Allah the almighty can guide him and I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah the Almighty without any partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. May the peace and blessings and prayers be upon him until the day of judgment. O you who have believed, fear Allah as you truly should be feared. And die only in a state of Islam. Die only as Muslims. My dear brothers, not long ago we buried one of our brothers who had reached his 40s. A couple of days ago we buried a sister who had just made it to 40. She died in her sleep without any medical complications and I was also informed that there have been recent deaths amongst our Muslim brothers and sisters of varying ages of varying ages so in reality we have to come to terms with death and we have to make it a constant reminder to you all. We have to be prepared for it at all times. As you know, death, and from what you've just heard, doesn't differentiate between young and old, between healthy and sick, between poor and rich. When your time for death comes, when your time is over, your time is over. And it is part of the belief of a believer that death is one of the most certain of certainties, one of the most truthful of truths, as he the Almighty has stated in his book. Kullu nafsin ikatul maut. Every soul shall taste death. Wherever you may be, death will overtake you. Even if you are in lofty, high, strong buildings. And a, a true believer who knows his Lord, knows his Prophet وسلم, will take on board the advice that Allah has left in his book and that his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has come with in his Sunnah one of the most important of those advices of those legacies is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recommended us to constantly remember death in plentiful he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Akthiru min dhikri hadim in laddhat al-mawt Akthiru Remember in plentiful The destroyer of all pleasures Death And he used to say to his companions Wa'dud nafsaka fil-mawta Consider yourself amongst the dead 
Because that's the reality. Even though you are alive today, you may be dead tomorrow. And if you're not dead tomorrow, dead is waiting for you at any time, in any place. For we always have to prepare for death. A true believer who knows his Lord always performs his obligations, does that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's not one to be heedless and careless and negligent, one to be indulged and occupied in this materialistic world. In this deceiving enjoyment, Prophet Sallallahu says, "Ta'isa abdul dinar, ta'isa abdul dirham." Wretched is the worshipper of the dinar and dinhar, uh, dinar and dirham, the money. Wretched is he. A true believer hurries and hastens in doing that which is good hurries and hastens in doing that which is pleasing to the almighty <coughs> hurries and hastens in repentance in doing his obligations in doing good deeds so that he meets his lord in the best state and form and shape وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرُضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Race, hurry, hasten to a forgiveness from your Lord and a paradise which is the width of the heavens and the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the prophets before us and the righteous people before us إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا يُسَارِعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَيَدْعُونَنَا رَغَبًا وَرَهَبًا وَكَانُوا لَنَا خَاشِعِينَ They used to hasten and hurry in doing good deeds at times of ease and at times of hardship. And they used to call upon us at times of ease and at times of hardship. And they were humble servants to us. For a believer worships Allah, the Almighty, at all times, during ease and during hardship. His situation is always good, as the Prophet ﷺ informs. In amr al-mu'min kulluhu khair, kulluhu khair. In asabathu sarra, shakar, fakana khairan lah. Wa in asabathu darra, sabar, fakana khairan lah. Amazing is the situation of the believer. His situation is always good. If goodness befalls him, he shows gratitude to Allah. If hardship befalls him, he remains patient. And that is only for the believer. And that is only for the believer. A true believer who knows his Lord and has read into the texts of the Quran and Sunnah will know that this life, this temporary life, is a test and trial for him. He created you, he created life and death to test you. Which of you is going to be best in deeds? He knows that this life is temporary and that everyone will perish on it everyone will perish and the true life the eternal life is the hereafter so he makes that his main aim and goal and purpose in this life he works for the hereafter. You indeed prefer this life over the next, even though the next 
is better and more lasting. It's eternal. That's why our dear Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to say, Allahumma la aisha illa aisha al akhir. Oh Allah, there is no true life except the life of the hereafter. Except the life of the hereafter. And he says, Kun fi dunya gharib aw abiri sabil. Live in this world as if you are a stranger or a traveler. And that's the reality. We are travelers. We are passers by in this world. We're not here to remain permanent. This world is not eternal for us to remain in. This world to the believer is a deceiving enjoyment. As the Almighty says, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ And at the end of all this, there's a huge price to gain or a huge consequence to pay. The huge consequence to pay is the loss on the Day of Judgment. The great loss on the day of judgment by you entering the hellfire by you losing yourself and your family and entering the hellfire billah. we seek refuge in Allah from the hellfire say indeed The losers, the true losers, are those who have lost themselves and their families on the Day of Judgment. Indeed, that is the evident loss, the true loss. Eh wallah, the true loss. The big loss is when you lose yourself on the Day of Judgment. When you lose out by entering waliyadu billah, the hellfire. And the true success and the true winner is he who enters paradise and is pushed away from the hellfire. فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازْ وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ He who is pushed away from the fire and enters paradise has indeed succeeded has indeed succeeded. That is the true success. That is the true winner. So ask yourselves, my dear brothers, in which direction are you heading? What path have you taken? Or what path do you want to take in this world before it's too late? أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ ذَنْبِ فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In the name of Allah and all praises due to Allah May the peace and blessings and prayers be upon his Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear brothers It is very important for each and every one of us to prepare for death at all times before it's too late before it's too late and as you know if death is to approach any of us it will not be delayed nor brought forward a second as the Almighty informs to every nation, to every person is an appointed time. If his time is up, he will not be delayed a second, nor will he be brought forward a second. حتى إذا جاء أحدهم الموت قال رب ارجعون لعلي أعمل صالحا فيما تركت 
كلا إنها كلمة هو قائلها until death approaches one of you and he says my lord delay me delay me a little while a second a minute an hour so that I may do good what does the almighty reply no kalla it is a word that he says it's a worthless word that he will be saying it will be to no avail for him But before you lament and feel remorseful, take advantage. Be productive in the limited time you have on this earth. And wallahi, it is limited. As you heard, brothers and sisters dying in their 40s. Subhanallah. The Prophet ﷺ said, the average lifespan of my ummah is between 60 and 70. And very few will reach that age few people will reach that age my dear brothers and sisters and a lot of us a lot of us are very close to that age wallahi a lot of us are very and some of us have entered that age Ya'ni, death is on an edge. It's awaiting for us any minute. Take advantage of your health before you become sick. Take advantage of your life before death approaches you. As long as Allah has given you good health and He's given you life, He's left that soul in your body. Take advantage of it. Before it's too late and you lament and you feel remorseful and I wish and I wish and I wish and I hope we have no avail to you. Our pious predecessors, subhanallah, they gave their lives and wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They gave all that was precious to them to gain that paradise, to gain paradise, to enter paradise. Why? Because they knew the reality of this life. They knew the reality of paradise. And that paradise is Allah's commodity. Paradise is precious. You need to strive and struggle and sacrifice to earn it doesn't come cheap as he the Prophet ﷺ informed us the commodity of Allah is expensive the commodity of Allah is expensive the commodity of Allah is paradise you need to strive and work hard to earn it Not be lazy and lethargic and heedless and careless. Paradise is surrounded, as the Prophet ﷺ says, by what? By hardships. And hellfire is surrounded by lusts. You want to enter paradise? You need to work hard for it. You need to do your obligations and keep away from the prohibitions. You need to do that which is pleasing to Allah and keep away from that which is displeasing to Him. Hellfire is very easy to enter, my dear brothers. Lusts. Follow your lusts and desires and whims. Continue on with the haram that you are doing. Very easy to enter. But paradise, it's very hard. That's why paradise is surrounded by hardships and the Prophet ﷺ also informed us that this world is the prison of the believer prison he's like in a prison yes because he has limits he has laws he needs to follow he 
You can't go out of these bound boundaries, out of Allah's limits, out of Allah's laws. Whilst it is the paradise of the kafir. This world is the paradise of the kafir. Because there's no boundaries for him. He can do anything. He can do anything. Vi hard. Try hard. Exert yourselves. Work hard. Be productive in the limited time you have on this earth. So that you may earn that precious commodity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم اجعلنا من أهل الجنة اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل اللهم اللهم لا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا إلى النار مصيرنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين واقبت أعداء الدين اللهم انصر من نصر هذا الدين واخذل من خذل هذا الدين اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان واجعلنا من الراشدين واجعلنا من الراشدين يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرتنا التي إليها معادنا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصنع